lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. The action has already started. Looks to clip it forward. Pumps it in. Goes for goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Lucas Paqueta. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. A real chance if he can get through. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Thanks. Goes direct to the front line. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And it's Chalhanolu. Milan were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Lucas Paqueta. Danger averted for now. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And he's there to hoof it away. Milan, one of the league's top scorers, formidable in front of goal. Bologna, uh, grateful to the genius of their manager last time round. Well, Peter, he was lauded by the media, and quite rightly too. I think what he did was clever and decisive, and it just goes to show how tactically astute he is. Certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought his starting position was good and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Played into space out wide. Incoming cross. And the shot! Goal! He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think... You have to give credit where it's due, and it was a brilliant setup and finish. Milan break the deadlock, and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Up towards the front line, oh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Plays it out to the flank. It's a loose ball. Lovely bit of skill there. Could cross it here. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. 
Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Oh, real danger here. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Lucas Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta! And that's been levered clear. Lucas Paqueta. He's gone for it! And again the keeper stands strong. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. That's a foul, free kick's been given. <laughs> Sancho absolutely focused then on the defensive. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Gets a ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he has to change his ways or this referee could soon change his status. Looks to drop one in. Good clearance and very necessary. Chip through. That's a goal kick. Get the pass he's looking for, and he's going long. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's not as if he didn't have people nearby. A scything tackle, and he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Lucas Paqueta plays it out to the wing, and it's played forward. Kessie, and the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Milan head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Already up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Sancho goes for the cross. He's gone out for a throw-in. A pop! <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Milan contested that thrill-a-minute draw last time. Over to the left, with a delicate ball. Well read, he sorted that out. Hernandez. Hernandez goes looking. And it's Palacio. Bissacchio puts it back. Done very well to intervene. Gets it upfield. Out to the right. He's left his man. Whipped in.
Decent progress down the left. Looking to get with him, it's Chalanolu! Knocks it away. Throw it. Kessier. He'll hit it! Oh, crossbar! Managed to get it away. Early ball. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Ball is over the line. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. Swing it in. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. Chalanolu displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Palacio, who last time round thumped his side into the lead in the first half. Chalanolu, he's had that hit one! Disappointing finish in the end. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Milan making consecutive changes here. Promising cross. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Tries to locate someone up front. Kessier. Chalanolu drives it forward. Milan are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Lucas Paqueta, forward it goes. And it's Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu hits that long. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Cut out in the nick of time. Bologna are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. It could be in here. Has a hit! It's a goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Bologna are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Milan could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that, to me, says everything, Peter. Palacio needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right. 
the delivery wasn't, they can revisit that further on. Well, that's where he wants it. And they win it back again. Hoists it forward, now the counter. Lucas Paqueta. So that's it, it is all over. Milan emerged victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads, and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.